Hey everybody, Bruno Jones here, and today we uh, will be talking about the new Left Behind. We got an update. Kevin Sorbos is playing Rayford Steel, so we have to know that. And this is a quick video, so please like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell if you said subscribe button, click on, and be notified every time I upload a new video. Also, hit uh, share this video to, uh, to as many people as you can. That'd be nice so we can grow the channel, so share. And leave that like button so we can get the algorithm up and running. And more people on board with the channel. We're on the road to 200 subscribers, so keep that up. So let's get into the video. And that this is the end of me on the camera. Because I have to do some stuff quick, so I'm going to edit this real quick. Before I wake up my some people. Alright, thank you. Bye. Hey, here we are, guys. Your people probably know what the Left Behind books are about. I'm directing it. I'm taking over the role that Nicolas Cage was in the last one. And we start filming here in August and September. So we're looking forward to making that movie. It's a great script. I love it. I mean, one of the highest selling uh, Christian sci fi books. 80, I mean, 80 million books? Yeah, yeah maybe the, the obviously the highest, highest, I'd imagine. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm wondering, I'd love to see the movies do, do better. What, do you, what are you bringing to it? Is there a new spin to it? Or. It's, you know, it's a really continuation of the last one, which actually did pretty well. Um, did well? But something happened. I don't know what happened with, uh, I don't know. There was there were lawsuits going on. So the last, it was, they had to handle a lot of stuff. It took six, seven years to finally get rid of that because, you know, once you get lawyers involved. I've got, I've got a wonderful script that I want to get done where my character accidentally dies and he's in heaven and the line is so long. It's a very politically incorrect movie. I laughed reading the whole thing. And the line is so long to get into the pearly gates and then he taps the guy in front of me, dude, what's going on? He goes, oh, lawyers. And I go, they're, what, they're lawyers in heaven? <laughs> he said, well, well, God, God felt God. sorry. And once you let one lawyer in, they all got it. That's <laughs> so hilarious. Is, is Nicholas Cage, Cage a believer? I, I have no idea. And I think that was one of the reasons maybe they, they, they went on. What happened is the guys behind it, it was called Cloud 10, they're based out of Toronto. They got bombarded with emails and uh, messages from people saying, you need Kevin Sorbo in this movie, not Nicolas Cage. So right. um, that's how that's really how the whole thing came together. That's awesome. Yeah, no, I think I think Hollywood. You know what it is? When you, I was thinking about it earlier because I was like, you know, why don't they make more Christian movies? And I think it's like when you have money and you have success, you typically drift from God. You know, that's the, the security becomes your your God typically. You know, like you can see it over and over in the Bible with the Israelites. They drift. You know, they get they get prosperous and they drift. Sure. Yeah, they. Moses came down and said, what are you guys doing? Right. <laughs> They're making yeah. golden calf to, you know, to, to, to worship. So, um, yeah, I mean, we're, look, none of us are perfect. I'm certainly not perfect. Oh, I mean, yeah. I, but I've always been a Christian. I've always been a believer. Yeah. But, uh, you know, every day I do something stupid that I got to ask God to forgive me for.